week five. 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 You know, I think it's safe to say that we've all done some dumb things in our lives, but I don't think many of us have ever celebrated a field goal that we did not make. And that's exactly what Packers kicker, excuse me, Bengals kicker, Evan McPherson did uh, against their matchup against the Packers on Sunday. Uh, We're going to talk about that. But before we do, make sure that you submit to the dominance of the subscribe button and then to use the like button as your safe word. All right. So let's talk about that Packers Bengals game. So first off, the Bengals are no joke. This is not the same Bengals team as last year. Their defense is solid. So I actually and like I'm I'm one of the biggest skeptics about the Trey Hendrickson signing, which was a big signing uh, at defensive end. I thought, you know, one season of high sack production wasn't worth the deal he got. Mm -hmm. But the guy's living up to the money. Sam Hubbard's really good. Von Bell's good. They just have a good defense. And, you know, I think they're building it the right way. Jesse Bates is really good. Um, Burrow's very good. You know, not a great game today, but you know what I mean? Like, they didn't even use Joe Mixon, and their running game didn't suffer. And that line still isn't good. You know what I mean? Like, so it's not like the line just got crazy good because it didn't. Going into today, uh, so these are probably going to change after today, but PFF has the Bengals' defense ranked as fifth and has their offense ranked as tenth, dude. Like, this Bengals team is no joke. And it just goes to show the difference of having a quarterback and let's be real, Joe Burrow, I think, has already established himself as a guy that's going to be their franchise guy. Like, he's he's good enough to where he can do that. Uh, what's funny, dude, is that, like, dude, if the Bengals, if they play their cards right, they could be the second best team in the AFC North. But uh, let's talk about the team across the field that they played, um, the Packers. I mean, Packers look good. <clears throat> they did. You know, but it's like, I'm a big Packers hater, dude. But, like, the fact of the matter is they look good. I, I just don't think their defense is as solid as people think. They have some no. really good players, but I just think it's kind of, I don't think it's what everyone thinks it is. I think it's going to be like it's middle of the tier. It's middle tier. You know what I mean? It isn't a top 10 defense. Like Aaron Rodgers isn't playing as well as he did last season, but it's also hard to replicate that success. You were MVP. You had your best season ever. Yeah. Um, He threw a pick early in this game. And then Mason Crosby missed three field goals in a row. So that is true. Here's the thing is if Mason doesn't win, miss three field goals in a row, that's, that's a, yeah, it's not, it's not overtime game. And it's, it's, it's a, not an easy Packers win, but it's a Packers win. I agree. And A.J. Dillon looks like he's getting more carries. Kylan Hill's getting receiving yards. Like Aaron Jones is still running for a lot. That team offensively is firing on all cylinders. Here's the issue, though. Yes, they're 4-1, and one, but they're yet to play a truly complete team, though. They haven't played a team with a great quarterback and a fantastic defense and, you know, like a fully complete team. They haven't played a team like, you know, the Bills or like, not to be a homer, the Chargers. The Chargers are pretty fucking good. You know what I mean? Like, they've beat the Bengals. They've beat the Niners. And, like, you know, say what you will about the Niners. But, like, they have a child and Jimmy G at who quarterback. Did they, who did they lose? They got their asses kicked by the Saints, remember? Oh, in, in week yeah. One. They got yeah. fucking their shit pushed in. Yeah. Dude, they literally looked like a college like a college team. They looked so bad. Yeah, they were awful in that game. Mm-hmm. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and talk about another AFC North team, though, that looked um, that looked pretty good. And that was the Steelers. Yeah, like this, Ben didn't look like he was dying. He looked like uh, he had a heartbeat. He well, I, I will say this. Yes, I, I think he looked like he was dying. It just his stats didn't look like yeah, they were dying. Yeah, his stats were good. Um, yeah. Najee finally had his coming out party. He had a great game. He had over 110 yards. Uh, come on. Um, and like, dude, he, he, you know, he finally played the way we thought he was all going to play. We all thought he was going to be this bell cow back. He was averaging less than four yards per carry. He had a huge game today, you know, bell cow back. That's a good word. Yeah. J- jumped over the pile, put a TD in like the guys. He's, he looks like the running back they wanted the whole time. And I think as that line gets better, he'll only get better. So, I mean, here's the thing, even though, even though Ben still looks paralyzed, any, anytime he has to do anything remotely athletic, he didn't look awful. You know what I mean? Like, but I mean, he he didn't have any interceptions. I think he had two touchdowns. He threw for like 250 yards. Can't ask for that much more, dude. Like if he does that every game the, with that defense, the Steelers could be a fucking playoff team. Yeah. And I my thing is, I just don't think that defense is the same as it was last season. Last season, it was the best, probably the best defense in the league. And this season, I just don't see the same tenacity i don't see the same gameplay like minka fitzpatrick's playing awful this season absolutely yeah yeah and honestly and then we'll talk about the broncos in a second but like they gave up 
like a bunch of gashed runs to uh, Javante Williams. And I was like, like he's he's a ru- rookie running back that hasn't been averaging a ton of yards per carry. And they just gave up like huge chunks. And while the Broncos don't necessarily have the worst O-line, they have a, a middle of the pack yeah, O-line. It's, it's not, not awful. Great. And so like, do you, you can't say that it's because they have a Browns O-line or a Cowboys O-line that they're just mowing your guys over because that's not what's happening. But yeah, dude. OK, so the Broncos, the Broncos fans, you guys were so fucking excited. You guys were three and zero. We're three and zero, and like people were saying, "Oh, you guys beat the worst teams in the NFL." And you're like, "We don't care. A win's a win in the NFL." No, it's fucking not. You guys finally played two semi decent teams, and you got your asses kicked both times. Well, Teddy Bridgewater didn't even have a hundred yards passing in the first half, and that was the biggest problem. It's like, oh, we're down big. I wonder why. It's like you've been running the ball all game. Vic Fangio doesn't play to kill people. He plays to keep it close and win at the end. Bro, dude, Teddy Bridgewater is like, you know, what you see is what you get. You know what I mean? He's like a slightly more athletic Mac Jones. You know what I mean? I agree. Like he's not going to, he's not necessarily going to lose you games, but he's definitely not going to be the reason you win games. No. And that actually brings up our next game, um, which was, I think, one of the most interesting games of the whole day in the Texans, uh, Texans, uh, Texans. Texans Patriots, holy shit! Yeah, do you want to try that one more time? Texans Patriots game. There we go. Twenty five, twenty two, and Davis Mills is the truth, dude. He looks so fucking good, dude. He looked awesome. A rookie QB going up against Bill and the boys. Like, are you kidding me? He Throwing played for great, three? dude. He only had like seven or eight incompletions. Like, dude, he, he has three beast. touchdowns. Like, like, dude. I mean. Bro, you know that Bill is like about to. He's like, all right, defense. I'm taking you out to the woodshed. We let a rookie quarterback embarrass us today. Dude, I don't know what it was, but the guy just played lights out against you know one of the best defensive minds to ever coach. Maybe and the, maybe the best defensive mind to ever coach. You know what I mean? That, that's and he, dude, he just tore him apart. He, he tore he looks, him apart. Bro. He looks so comfortable he out there. He looks awesome, and that running game kind of sucks. But that team fights, man. They're frisky. Yeah, they do. They they fight, and I gotta say, I mean, like, I mean, we'll be the first to admit we were extremely mean to the Texans of the off season. I was thinking like, oh, they're a, uh, they're like a shirt shot to go zero and seventeen. I thought they go zero and eighteen. That's how bad they. I thought they were. Yeah, like they would they would lose every game and get like another game that they would lose somehow. Yeah, uh, but they, dude, they've looked pretty good. They've played with some heart. Um, so uh, let's talk about a game that made me extremely happy today. Uh, definitely gave me a bit of a heart attack seeing how back and forth it was. But the LA Chargers and the Browns, the Man. Browns, which is a fucking absolutely epic game. You know, I typically don't like shootouts very much, but like I feel like there's still some pretty cool defensive plays in this, so it made it like a little bit more watchable. But um, dude, it, as a Chargers fan personally, it makes me happy to see that we can win a shootout. You know, yeah. we haven't like the, these are the games in the past with Anthony Lynn that we would just find ways to fuck it up and lose, which we almost did super t- like several times. Yeah. Thanks, thanks, Tristan Vizcano. And it wasn't like it wasn't like uh, Baker Mayfield played horribly either. It wasn't Bro. it wasn't like, yeah, the Browns, honestly, no offense, but your defense sucked today. Like so bad, so bad. You guys got ran all over. What, what do you Baker mean? What do you mean? No offense, dude. That was literally. Off. Yeah, they looked horrible. Baker bro. Mayfield played lights out, though, and you guys still won. So that's really all the Browns need to do in order to win is for Baker Mayfield to play well because their defense is so good and they have the best running game in the NFL. And, dude, it's just that Herbert is a different beast, bro. He's a, he's a different beast. What, what was his passer rating today? Do you, do you know? It's got to be something ridiculous. I think it was like 120-something. 120-something. Well, dude, actually, Baker, Baker's passer rating might have been even higher. But, I mean, it's just that Justin Herbert had, he had the game-changing plays. Like the Chargers on third and fourth down, they get those plays. You know what I mean? 122. 122. <laughs> Baker had 122.5. That's dude. That's a good that's a good matchup right there, man. But dude, Justin Herbert is a fucking beast. I think that if the Browns are playing any team that doesn't have Justin Herbert on it, I think they end up winning that game. Because the Browns played one of their best games that they've played all year. You know what I mean? Not so much defensively, but how much can you really do? Dude, Herbert's been tearing it apart this year. Like he like he I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it yet, but like, dude. It's very if he keeps on continuing at this rate, it's realistic that he's going to be an MVP candidate. I think he's an MVP candidate right now. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree, dude. The best QBs in the league right now are him, Kyler, and Josh Allen. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's just weird. So it's, it's very exciting. This is what good teams do. Is doesn't matter what kind of game you're playing, whether it's a low scoring game or a high scoring game, you figure out ways to win. Yeah. 
So let's uh, let's talk about a team that's looking for ways to fucking lose right now, and that's the Las Vegas Raiders. Yeah, that was an ugly game. Oh, Both geez. sides ugly, <laughs> ugly, <laughs> ugly. That was a really, really ugly game. As a Chargers fan, it's fucking hysterical. John watch, yeah. Gruden can't establish the run. He wants to run the ball all day, but dude, all he so can do bad. is send racist emails. Bro, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, right, yeah, dude, that's a topic for a whole other video, but... Uh, but dude, John Gruden. All right, they're down fourteen to nothing against the Bears, the woeful Bears. Who, by the way, have a three and two record right now, which is hilarious. Uh, and he's running halfback dives, literally right into Khalil Mack's face. You don't have to be a scientist to know that that's just not really a good offensive game plan. With no offensive line. No offensive line. No creativity in the run game. Mm-hmm. You have a pretty, you have a pretty mobile quarterback in Derek Carr. You see all those other teams that are running that crazy fun RPO shit. That works. There's a reason why they run it, and you have a quarterback that's a good suit for it. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Not doing it. I've said it from the be- I've said it from the beginning. I'll say it again now. The only weakness to the Raiders is their head coach. Agreed. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk about the other team that Justin Fields didn't look too bad today, and they had a good run game today, dude. Herbert, uh, their Khalil Herbert or whatever ran for like I think almost a hundred yards. Yeah. And, you know, uh, Damian Williams had over 60 yards. Like They ran all over him. They ran all over, and Justin Fields looked good. Like, you know, rookie mistakes too, but, like, he looked good. They don't have a lot of receiving options, and he played well. Yeah, I mean, but I, honestly, bro, if you're able to make Matt Nagy's offense look semi-good, I think that Justin Fields should be in the MVP candidate discussion. Also an MVP candidate. Yeah, absolutely. So, so it's like, so here we are. We got... So we got Josh Allen, Kyler Murray, Justin Herbert, and Justin Fields is like right up there as well. But dude, that I mean, it, it was just you know good to see for Justin Fields that um, that he's not dead yet. I'm really happy to see that he's still alive. Um, we'll see how much longer that lasts. And so, dude, let's talk about the other rookie. Well, uh, I, I did, actually no, I don't know what you're going to talk about. San Fran, Arizona. Yes, yeah. I, I mean, I was going to talk. Okay, I guess we are talking about the same thing. I was going to be like the team. The last remaining undefeated team in the NFL. Yeah, that is true. That's that's a bigger storyline than like I just like rookies. I, I know you do. Yeah. yeah, Justin likes him young. All right, so let's talk about the last uh, undefeated team. So uh, the Cardinals, dude. They, in, in a similar fashion to the Chargers, they're one of those teams that good teams they figure out ways to win no matter what the game is like. And this is a low scoring game, seventeen to ten. You know, Kyler Murray, like he didn't have fuck you numbers, but he did exactly what you needed to do. I literally only put one note for the Cardinals on here and it says defense good. Because that's all I kept thinking. I was like, holy shit, their defense is really fucking good. Vance Joseph is just he's a really good defensive coordinator. He with the pieces that he has, he's just inputting everyone so well. Buda Baker, dude, he had a great game, dude. And like we said in the last video, dude, like. I think the piece that they had really been missing is having a guy like J.J. Watt. I, I swear to God, Cliff Kingsbury is going to be running to like Vance Joseph's car to open his door. He's going to be at his house. Oh, He's like, I dude. thought you needed groceries. Dropped him off. He's like, you know, I'm interviewing for head coaching candidates. He's like, yeah. you know, man, I totally understand that. And I support you. And every time they call to ask about him, he's like, worst person I've ever met. Anything for you, Vancey. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Yeah. It's like, oh, do you want a foot massage too? But on the other side of the ball, someone was, uh, you know, on the receiving end of that brutal beating by the defense. Uh, it was actually a very close game. Niners have a good defense. They have a good coach. But Trey Lance looks like the most rookie of all the rookies. And don't get me wrong. like yeah. he, he also had a lot of talent. Like mm-hmm. Clearly, he had like 80 rushing yards or something. Like He's very athletic. But the guy throws only darts. He just takes it and he fucking... Dude, you know what he's like? Is like? Have you ever played pool with someone before and they just try to hit the ball way too fucking hard? That's yeah. literally what Trey Lance is like. Where he's just like, it's like, okay, ch- chill, chill, okay? Like, yeah, you, you got to have a the, little bit more finesse than that. Okay, and you don't want to be the receiver that's like, hey, man, the ball's coming, hurting my hands. Which is insane. But that's actually a but thing, it's dude. But this is the one time I've seen that. I'm like, that's a real thing. Yeah. He's literally throwing, basically, this is he's trying to kill people. Like, mm-hmm. honestly, he should be arrested because people are going over the middle. They're three yards in front of him. He's chucking the ball 75 miles. That's assault. That 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 is that's assault. indeed assault, and Trey Lance was trying to do it. So yeah, and maybe maybe some legal action should be taken against the Niners. Yeah, yeah. But uh, regardless, dude, those are some pretty fucking good games, dude. Week five, dude. I'm I'm very happy with how it went. So it went well for my team. Uh, for our other co-hosts, we don't get to talk about it. Uh, we don't get to talk about it. 
Yeah, we're going to put in some graphics for what happened to his team today because it wasn't very good. So a bye right. week for us. Yeah, it was a bye week for them, as is every week. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and be sure to tune in for week six. Thank you very much.